Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first Kazoo Fridays episode of 2024. So today's comes from kind of a weird location. You know, since I'm into kazoos and whistles, I'm constantly watching the different feeds out there to look for new kazoos, new whistles and things because, you know, might be interested in them. And something came up around the holiday time, Christmas kazoos. I'd never heard of this, of course I was curious, but effectively they were just plastic red and green kazoos with a Christmas sticker on them. But what I noticed is these particular kazoos had a very odd shape and I'd never seen a kazoo with that shape before. And it reminded me of a highlighter marker. I mean, this is almost the same shape, if you look at that. <laughs> I just started my wheels turning. Could I turn this highlighter into a kazoo? Now, just in case you're wondering, I do have another highlighter, so I'm not, uh, you know, sacrificing my only highlighter to do this. But just in case anybody asks, this is the brand of highlighter that I'm using. But I think, you know, the brand's probably not as important. It just needs to be this kind of shape like this with the thing like this. So... Let's uh, take this apart and see if we can get just the blue part here and make a kazoo out of it. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure how this thing comes apart, but I have a feeling it's gonna be messy. So put down some cardboard and I've got some rubber gloves. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this out. A few moments later. Ah! Okay. Boy, that did not want to come out of there. That's obviously the ink. So then let's see if we can get this out. Ah, that came right out. All right. Not sure if the camera can see that, but it is indeed hollow. Now you can see, maybe you can just kind of see, I used this little screwdriver here to try to pry some of that, and I made a few little scrapes there. Nothing major, but there's also just some scrapes on it just from, I'm not sure if the camera will even pick that up, but just from being used. Uh, so I've got a sanding disc here, 320 grit, and I'm just going to sand off the logo and kind of clean it up a little bit. There is our kazoo. So I think the next thing we need to do is drill a hole a few moments later okay and there we go and by the way i drilled a half inch hole here um that seems to fit pretty good because it gives me just a little bit on on each side here and it's also usually the largest uh drill bit in a common set of drill bits so let's go ahead and uh put the reed in place so i cut a little square of cigarette paper here just plain old cigarette paper and uh, I found in the past that that works pretty well. I did a kazoo membrane shootout a while back. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set that there and then just use a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place. Now, of course, I could find a more elegant solution for this, but just for the sake of this uh, sort of proof of concept, I think this is going to work just fine. So if all works, this should be our kazoo. There we go. Okay, and now the moment of truth. Let's attempt to play the highlighter kazoo. Does it sound good? Um, I'm impressed. It doesn't sound good, it sounds great. Guys, this, <laughs> this actually sounds better than a lot of the purchased kazoos that I've, that I've had. In fact, I've got a couple here, let's, let's try it. This is a Sunyin kazoo. This is a Amscam kazoo. And then here's the highlighter kazoo. I actually prefer the tone of this to either one of these, actually, ironically. That is crazy. You can make a kazoo in like five minutes that sounds better than these ones you can buy on Amazon. Who knew? Anyway, this has been Kazoo Fridays. If you're not familiar with this series, make sure you check out the playlist link in the description. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon.